Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for today's webinar on Sunbright TVs. I'm Ricky Pishoff and I'm the National Technical Training Manager here at Snap AV and I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. Before we get started, let's go through a few quick housekeeping items. First, we will be recording the presentation and we will send you a copy by email. Uh, actually, the email will have a link to the video uh, so that you can review it again if there was specific issues or specific topics that you wanted to review again. We'll do that in a few, within a few days after the webinar ends. And lastly, we are planning to have a, uh, at the end of the presentation, a Q&A session. So do please feel free to send in your questions at any time during the webinar. And you can do that using the question and answer feature in the webinar control panel. So just go ahead and type in your questions as they come, uh, come into, uh, in, into your thoughts, and we'll review all of those questions at the end of the webinar for everyone. Okay, now I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Fred Sharp. Um, he is the national trainer for Sunbright TVs, and I'll pass it over to Fred here. Hang on just a second. Okay, Fred. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, as Ricky uh, said, uh, my name is Fred Sharp. I am the uh, national product trainer for Sunbright TV. I've been with Sunbright TV for a uh, little over four years now and uh, we're uh, really excited. This has been a good year for us so far with the introduction of the veranda and uh, last year with the uh, introduction of the 84 inch pro uh, that um, uh, seemed to uh, answer a lot of uh, people's questions about when we were going to get a big screen and I can tell you also that we're working on a lot of things for the future so um, uh, the future is definitely bright, as it were, for uh, Sunbright, but uh, this has been a good year for us so far. So I'm um, going to go over uh, all of the different um, product lines that Sunbright offers uh, today, uh, hopefully answer all of your questions that come in, and as Ricky said, uh, we'll definitely have that uh, Q&A session at the end to answer any specific questions that you might have. So we're going to go ahead and, and get started for today. So uh, typically with a lot of manufacturers, you get one of three things. Either they are an innovator, meaning that they invented the category, uh, they're a niche marketer, a specialist in the category, or they're the low cost producer, the price leader in the category. Sunbright TV is all three of those. Uh, Sunbright designed and built the first outdoor TVs in 2004. We literally invented the category. Uh, we specialize in outdoor TVs and nothing else, and we were the first manufacturer to offer a high-quality, low-cost solution to putting an indoor TV outside. Uh, a lot of people, especially on the residential end, but also on the commercial side, restaurant owners are looking to cut costs any place that they can, and uh, a lot of times they will resort to putting an inexpensive indoor TV out on their patios well, now, hopefully, they can afford to put a Sunbright TV out there on their patios with the uh, introduction of the Veranda series, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. Uh, Sunbright TVs are time-tested in the harshest climates in North America with 10-plus years of continual engineering production refinements for outstanding quality and durability, and we are designed, engineered, and manufactured in the United States. And we are the preferred outdoor display for now over 50 professional sports stadiums. We're also in a number of different hotel resorts, restaurant chains, amusement parks, museums, you name it. You're starting to see Sunbright TV in a lot of different commercial applications now. And so that brand recognition is definitely out there, and we're happy to have that uh, brand recognition now. So... Uh, we're very excited about that. Some of the product benefits that you get from Sunbright TV, obviously they are completely weatherproof. They offer external and internal protection with a powder-coated rust-proof aluminum exterior engineered to protect against rain, snow, dust, insects, humidity, and salt air with an onboard storage compartment. Uh, you can 
put a digital media player inside of that storage area. It is powered in there with either five volts at three and a half amps or 12 volts at five amps. And you've got enough room in there to put say a bright sign player or a black box or a small digital media player in the back of that. And I'll show you some pictures of that a little bit later on uh, in the presentation if you're not uh, familiar with that particular feature. Uh, they are optimized uh, for outdoor viewing with anti-reflective LED screens, 25 to 40% brighter than a standard indoor TV. And that's really the key of what we're talking about here. When I say standard indoor TV, I'm talking about what I refer to as that Sunday flyer special. You see at Target or Walmart, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars for an inexpensive indoor TV. And that's what we're uh, kind of going up against there are those standard indoor TVs. Those are the ones that a lot of, as I said, restaurant owners are using to cut corners and they'll put those on their outdoor patio. And now with the veranda, we can kind of go against that there. Uh, so speaking of the Veranda series, this was initially created with our residential customers in mind. However, uh, with the introduction of this unit, we started to get a lot of attention from commercial dealers and commercial installers asking, can we use this in a commercial environment? And absolutely you can, as long as you understand there are certain limitations to the Veranda series and it has to be used in a certain type of application. And the first thing you need to be aware of, of course, is that these are intended for fully shaded applications. You have to have this under a full covered patio, uh, not a lot of, you know, certainly no direct facing sunlight on the screen, uh, not a lot of high ambient light either. Uh, but uh, in those particular areas, like in a sports bar or something along those lines, where it is fully shaded inside of there, the veranda is the perfect example of where you can uh, where you can use the veranda series there. Uh, it's available in three sizes: 43 inch, 55 inch, and 65 inch. And they are up to 30% brighter, as I said before, than a standard indoor TV. 300 nits for the 43 and the 55 inch. 350 nits for the 65 inch. Veranda was also our really our first uh, big introduction into uh, 4K UHD. Uh, we did have the 84, which is also a 4K unit, and we introduced that before the Veranda series, but that was just one unit. This is an entire product line that is uh, 4K here, and all of them are direct LED backlit, no edge lighting on these. We knew also that if we were gonna introduce a 4K TV, we had to make sure that the inputs were going to be correct and that the copyright protection was going to be correct. So HDMI 2.0 inputs on all of these and HDCP 2.2 compatible. So it will work with all of the current uh, and future 4K peripherals out there, your DVD players, uh, the uh, Google Chromecast Ultra is uh, HDCP 2.2, the Amazon Fire HDCP 2.2. So we wanted to make sure that it was gonna be compatible with all that because some of our uh, competitors out there have released 4K units, but with the lower HDCP uh, compatibility, the 1.4. So we wanted to make sure that we were gonna be current and future proof uh, with that. And then lastly, uh, we do have, uh, we've always had a, uh, a USB port on all of our TVs, but they've always been for just uh, firmware updates. Well, with the Veranda series now, that is a multimedia USB port, meaning that you can put a movie on a thumb drive, plug it in, and be able to show that movie on the screen. Uh, it's not terribly robust, there's not a lot of features to it, but it will do the basic things. Uh, play MP3s, you can do a photo slideshow, things like that. Uh, also, Veranda is our only line of TVs that has built-in speakers, uh, down-firing speakers, two times 10 watts, so 20 watts total uh, sound output on those speakers there.
Commons. So these are some installation examples uh, for the Veranda series. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here. This is a fully covered roof, uh, full patio here. It's open on the sides. And as long as there's not uh, no direct sunlight coming in through there and no uh, like uh, a lot of high ambient light, no glare coming off the water or anything like that, this is a perfect example of where you can use a Veranda series. Uh, here's another one here where you've got a particularly long um, uh, or a particularly uh, big opening here on the patio, but you've got this little alcove where the veranda sits in there nicely. Uh, it's protected from that direct sun and ambient light. So this is another example where that's going to work really well. Here's a nice uh, commercial example of here. This is a BJ's restaurant out here in Southern California where uh, you've got, uh, once again, a full covered patio here and a number of our TVs, uh, veranda series units uh, in that particular patio there. So that's a nice example. But I've talked a lot about why you want to avoid direct facing sunlight here. And I'm going to use this as an example. This is a real life example here. This is a customer who lives in Phoenix, Arizona, and they purchased our veranda series with unfortunately not doing a lot of homework on the unit itself. On our website, we try to put as much information in there that uh, you need to avoid direct facing sunlight. Well, the customer figured that since he's got a covered patio, that this would work okay in his particular application here. And we can tell there's a lot of information going on inside of this picture here. Number one, we can confirm that he does have a covered patio. We know this because if you look at the reflection in the screen, there's a column there that's holding up his patio roof, okay? We can also see that the wall that he has chosen to put this TV on is a southwest facing exposure. How do we know this? Because we can see the shadow of the person taking the picture of the TV down there underneath the TV itself. And you can see his reflection there in the screen. And what has happened here is that around two, three o'clock in the afternoon, as that sun begins to set, it is now shining underneath and through the opening to his patio. And it is shining right on the front of that TV. So what is happening here is that as that sun shines on the front of the TV and the temperature of the TV begins to go up, we're getting what's known as an isotropic blackout, meaning that as the temperature on the TV begins to go up, the liquid crystals inside the display, they begin to get smaller and smaller and smaller until it shuts down altogether. Once they begin to shut down, this black spotting shows up on the screen. And as more of the neighboring liquid crystals to that one begin to shut down, that black spotting gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you end up with this. Now, this is going to happen with any TV. This is not exclusive to Sunbright TV. This will happen to a Sony or an LG or any other TV out there because it happens when the liquid crystals begin to shut down because they got too hot. Okay. Now, the good news is, is that this is not going to cause permanent damage. Once the sun goes down, or if he were able to tilt this TV to where the sun is not shining directly on the front of it, literally within just a few seconds, because I've seen it happen myself, within just a few seconds, those liquid crystals will begin to cool down and they will open up again. And that LED backlight will be able to shine through and the picture will come back. Unfortunately, though, he's not able to tilt this. He took pictures of this, sent emails to us, wanted to know what was going on. Now, to resolve all of this, the good news is that after we explained to him exactly what happened, he upgraded the TV from a veranda to a pro series. And because the pro is designed for direct facing sunlight, now he doesn't have that issue anymore. But as you can see, this is exactly what has happened here. So I love to use this picture in all of my presentations because it's a really good example of what can happen to a veranda series or really any kind of LCD TV when it is exposed to direct facing the sunlight because that is one of the most important things that you need to get across to your customer. If they are going to have that direct facing sunlight, 
this is what can happen if they decide to go with a veranda series. If this were in the shade, if this were up higher, where it's shaded up there closer to the ceiling of the patio, you wouldn't have that issue. Uh, it would be fully shaded, and uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't be having this right now. But unfortunately, this is how his patio is designed, and that sun has come in there. So I love using this picture here. It's a great example. This is what you want to avoid with your customers there. Find out where the sun is going to be through the different parts of the day. Are they going to have direct facing sunlight in there? Or is it fully shaded to where you won't uh, run into this situation here? So I really like using this picture. It's, uh, it's a fantastic example. All right. So moving on from the veranda to the signature series. The signature has always been kind of our flagship unit. Uh, we've had this for a number of years now. It's our most popular TV to this day even, but we knew that if we were going to offer the veranda series with 4K and everything, that we had to completely revamp our signature series, and that's what we've done. So the signature series now designed for partial sun installations. Still no direct facing sunlight, but you can put these in areas where there's a lot more high ambient light coming in, like underneath a pergola roof, something like that. And I'll show you some examples uh, after this part here. Uh, the signature series up to three times brighter than a standard indoor TV at 700 nits on all three sizes here. Uh, speaking of the sizes, same three as the veranda, 43, 55, and 65 inches. Also 4K with direct LED backlighting. Another thing that the commercial installers obviously are loving with this is built-in HD base T receiver with an IR repeater built in there. So uh, it's the same, it's based off of the same um, uh, model HD base T that uh, Snap offers, but we've built it into the TV now, and it's just a regular input like all the other inputs in the back of the TV. So it's a nice feature that a lot of the commercial dealers love, obviously, because now you don't have to worry about hiding that HD base T receiver in the back of the TV. You don't have to do that now. It's just an input like everything else in the back there. So very nice feature to have, and we get a lot of compliments on it. Uh, another feature that we introduced on the signature is something that we call OptiView. It's basically an outdoor optimized picture quality setting. It's accessible through the remote. It's uh, two uh, different options. They're known as Sunbright Day and Sunbright Night. And they're kind of self-explanatory. Sunbright Day designed for daytime viewing where it ups the brightness on the TV, changes the contrast a little bit, but still provides nice bright colors, but optimized for daytime viewing. And then Sunbright Night, obviously optimized for nighttime viewing. It kind of reduces the brightness a little bit, changes the contrast once again, and makes it appropriate for nighttime viewing there. And then lastly, just like on the veranda, HDMI 2.0 inputs and HDCP 2.2 compatibility. So now some install examples for the signature series. As I talked about before, a pergola roof. Here you've got filtered sunlight coming in, still no direct facing sunlight, but lots of high ambient light where that wouldn't work well with the veranda, it's gonna work perfect with the signature here. Those 700 nits of brightness are gonna cut through all of this and give a nice, clear, bright picture, even in this type of uh, installation here. Here's another pergola roof. Yes, it's sitting under an eave, but obviously, as the sun moves throughout the day, you're gonna get high ambient light uh, coming in there. As long as that wall is not a southwestern facing exposure, you're gonna be perfect here. That 700 nits is gonna cut through all that bright ambient light here. Here's a nice commercial example for a signature series. This is a hotel uh, bar here in uh, San Diego, or down in San Diego, uh, where they've got a pergola roof, they've got lots of ambient light coming in, so signature series is gonna work perfect uh, for this type of installation here. Okay. Now, moving on then from the Signature to the Pro Series, this is our commercial uh, workhorse, really. This is, one, this is the one you're going to see in most commercial installations because the Pro Series is designed 
for full facing sunlight. You can put this right out in direct sunlight. It's uh, going to cut through all of that direct facing sunlight. You're not going to lose the picture, like the example that I showed you with the veranda earlier. We do that through a combination of things. Number one, the LCD panel that we use in here is specifically engineered for direct facing sunlight applications. The pixels or the, um, the liquid crystals are not going to shut down like they did on the veranda in this particular one. The other thing that we do here is that uh, we have a piece of tempered glass that sits in front of the LCD panel. And behind the bezel, we have a gap between that glass and the LCD panel. And that allows us to blow air over the front of the LCD panel to help keep the temperature down so it won't go black in direct sunlight. Pro Series is available in a variety of sizes, 32, 42, 49, 55 inches, and then the big daddy, the 84 inch, which is also a 4K unit with the built-in HD base T. Uh, the 32 through the 55 are still at 1080p on here, okay? Once again, up to three times brighter than a standard indoor TV, 700 to 1,000 nits depending on the size that you go with. The 32 inch is a thousand nit brightness, the 42, the 49, the 55 are all 700 nits, and the 84 is 800 nits. Um, I talked before, they are direct sunlight readable, as I said, uh, with panels that are specifically engineered for that and the uh, tempered glass that we have that sits in front of that panel. It provides an extra layer of protection. Uh, if this is in an active pool or patio area, something like that, or a very public um, area where people could be touching the screen or something like that, they're not going to damage the LCD panel because you've got that tempered glass that sits in front of the, uh, the panel there. Because it is a larger unit, and because I mentioned the fans before, this does have active heating and cooling inside of the unit there. It's good down to minus 40 and up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit uh, on the Pro Series there with that active heating and cooling system. Okay. So now some examples for the uh, for installation on the Pro Series. There, oh. I forgot, also, uh, new for 2017, um, the 32 inch, as I mentioned before, a thousand nit brightness level. Uh, the previous 30, 32 that we had was only 400 nits. Uh, this one now at 1000 nits, so that makes it uh, that much better for direct facing sunlight. You've got an extra large cable compartment in the 32 now, where you can uh, put a digital media player in the back of it. We also have, uh, the 32 inch is also available in a touch screen option uh, in both landscape and portrait orientation. So a uh, number of different options there as far as the application is concerned. Okay. So there's an example of the landscape and the portrait option, and we can do touch screen overlays on either one of those there. Uh, in addition, throughout the Pro Series, the 42, the 49, and the 55, uh, we don't have touch screen options available for those, but we do have the portrait orientation available on all of those models as well. So as I said, some installation examples. Uh, this is a chain of restaurants known as the Yard House. They're all across America. We are exclusive to Yard House, and you will see all of our patios or all of our TVs out on their uh, outdoor patios there at uh, Yard House restaurants. Fully open patios, direct facing sunlight. Uh, the Pro Series work uh, wonderful in those types of uh, applications there. Uh, this is uh, Cedar Fair Amusements. They own about a dozen amusement parks across North America. And uh, up to, um, uh, to this date now, we've got about five to 600 units employed across all of their amusement parks. They use them in the ride queues in this particular example. And they also use them in their uh, concession stands as well. So this has worked out really well uh, for them also. Okay, so now the Marquee Series, moving up from the Pro Series to the Marquee Series. 
Our marquee series are the brightest screens that we have available today. These are definitely intended for full sun applications completely out, out in the open, no shading whatsoever. And if they need, if your customer needs a really bright screen to cut through all of that, well, then the Pro Series is going to be, or the Marquee Series is going to be the one that you'll want to use in this. Full sun installations, as I said, available in both landscape and portrait orientations, and they are our brightest screens available. The 47 inch is 2000 nits, and the 55 inch is 2500 nits. You've got, uh, as I said before, they are direct sunlight viewable. You've got the uh, tempered glass that sits in front of the LCD panel to give it an extra layer of protection and to allow for the uh, active heating and cooling to protect that LCD panel in all different types of weather uh, environments there. Here's an example of our 55 inch portrait units in a uh, restaurant drive through this is exactly where you'd want to have those marquee series there. Uh, this is going to be exposed to direct facing sunlight for the majority of the day. The last thing, obviously, that you want is to lose that picture. And that 2,500 nits is going to cut through all that direct facing sunlight here so that uh, everybody coming through will be able to uh, view the menu with no issues there. All right, I've talked before about the cable compartment, and this is a picture of that there. Uh, it's plenty large enough to fit a bright sign player, which is what is in this picture here. You've got a small HDMI cable to hook it up there, and then you've also got a power cable in here. You can power this unit off of the power provided inside of the cable compartment. As I mentioned, either 5 or 12 volts of power available inside of the cable compartment there. You can do this in the Marquee Series, in the Pro Series, even in the Signature Series. Really not enough room to do it in the Veranda Series, unfortunately, but uh, you can do it in all of the other models that we do offer. So nice, large cable compartment there to be able to fit a, a digital media player in the back of it there. Okay. So now moving on from our TVs to our line of accessories, one of the great things about um, uh, being acquired by Snap uh, now, uh, almost um, a little over a year now, this has been in the works, uh, we, in the past, our mounts were made exclusively for us by Chief. Well, now with uh, being owned by Snap AV, we now have a full line of outdoor rated strong mounts, beginning with the articulating arm. We now have both single and dual arm articulating wall mounts now available to us. Uh, the single arm supports sizes from 43 up to 65 inches, and the dual arm supports 37 to 80 inches. Uh, not the 84, obviously, the 84 is not going to fit on here. We have a flat wall mount for that one here, but this will support uh, the full range of all of our TVs now and anything that may be coming up in the future. They are all outdoor rated. They're all powder coated. They all have marine grade stainless steel hardware. The flat wall mounts are also available in a number of sizes both uh, available in both a flat and tilt style. So you can have just a straight static flat wall mount, or you can have a tilt style where it allows for about 10 to 11, I think 12 degrees of tilt. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a, a, a maximum of nine degrees of tilt on those tilt mounts. Uh, available in a number of sizes, uh, 23 to 43 inches on the medium, the large is 37 to 80 inches, and the extra large will accommodate 55 to 90 inches. So the 84 inch, we do have an extra large flat mount that you can use uh, for that one. Once again, outdoor rated, marine grade stainless steel hardware. There is a security mechanism on the flat wall mounts where you can put up to two padlocks on there. And with those padlocks in place, you won't be able to remove the TV off of the wall bracket. So a nice security me mechanism on there. And as I said before, uh, said before provides uh, nine degrees of tilt on those flat wall mounts there. 
Uh, the ceiling mounts. Now, the ceiling mounts are still made by uh, Chief for us. Uh, they are also outdoor rated, uh, sizes 32 to 55 inches. Uh, the uh, standard mounting plate that comes with a our ceiling mount is a flat uh, mounting plate. If you want a, a swivel adapter, we have swivel adapters available for those. We also have angled ceiling plates available. We have dual ceiling mounts available, so they can put uh, two TVs back to back. Nice for a sports bar. Uh, extension columns available from 24 to 72 inches for those really tall ceilings there. And with the Chief wall mounts, we do have a lifetime warranty available on all of those. Planter poles. Uh, this is a nice freestanding solution. If for whatever reason your customer either is unable to wall mount it or does not want to wall mount it, we do have planter poles available for a freestanding solution. Uh, available for sizes from 32 to 65 inches. You do have to use this in conjunction with a wall mount, whether that be a uh, flat wall mount or the articulating arm, you have to use this in conjunction with one of those. You attach that onto the mounting arms at the top of the planter pole here, and then you've got a nice freestanding solution. Uh, also powder coated marine grade stainless steel hardware and a lifetime warranty on these as well. Uh, the planter pole stands about 60 inches tall, You've got a 12 inch base plate at the bottom with four mounting points, screw it into a wooden deck or onto a concrete pad. I've even seen people uh, dig a hole, stick it in there and fill it with cement to give a, a permanent freestanding solution. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, square pole is uh, hollow inside so you can use that for cable management and you've got two exit holes down at the bottom so the cables com can come out and then an exit hole at the top for cables to come out there to uh, hook up to the TV. Tabletop stands. Unlike an uh, indoor TV, our TVs do not automatically come with tabletop stands and that's because in most of those situations they're either going to be wall mounted or there's some other sort of uh, mounting solution. But in some cases, customer does want a tabletop stands, so we do have them available for purchase. Uh, size is 32 to 65 inches, and they do have mounting points available. So you can connect it to the TV and then screw it onto a countertop or something like that to give it more of a permanent type of, situ of uh, installation. Dust covers. In the past, we used to give away dust covers with all of our TVs. We, do, we no longer offer that, but we do still make them available for purchase. Available for all sizes, 32 to 84 inches. The fabric is very similar to a car cover type material, if you're familiar with that. So it is a heavy duty uh, fabric. Put it on there, you've got Velcro straps along the bottom to kind of uh, strap it into place and provides a nice, just extra added layer of protection really to kind of keep it nice and clean looking. It's not going to add to the weatherproof capability or anything like that. It is, after all, just a dust cover, exactly as the name implies. Uh, this is the standard remote that comes with our TV. We do have replacement remotes available. We also uh, make a programmable uh, remote as well that is also weatherproofed. All right, so uh, some of the points that I like to bring up uh, if you've got a customer who is still kind of on the fence about going with a Sunbright TV versus an inexpensive indoor TV, there are some things that you can bring up to your customers that maybe they don't ne haven't necessarily thought about before that you can give to them to help them kind of kind of nudge them towards getting a Sunbright TV. And one of those things is when you open up a manual to an indoor TV, this is the first thing that you see on the first page there. Caution, risk of electric shock. And then the warnings start to come up. Do not use apparatus near water. To reduce risk of fire or electrical shock, do not expose to rain, moisture, or other liquids. Do not expose to dripping or splashing all things that you're going to see in a typical outdoor installation. 
To be quite honest with you, we're very happy that the indoor TV manufacturers put these warnings in their TVs, and we feel that every customer out there should abide by these warnings because when you look at the manual for a Sunbright TV, you're not going to see these warnings here because it is designed for outdoor use. It is an outdoor electrical appliance, so you're not going to see these warnings in here. But some of the points that you can bring up to a customer when it comes to, you know, choosing between an, an inexpensive indoor TV or a Sunbright TV, there are four that we bring up. Safety, life expectancy, performance, and peace of mind. So beginning with safety here. Safety is always going to be our number one concern. Indoor TVs have an electrical hazard risk if used in any wet outdoor environment. The Sunbright TV solution to this is that they are designed, engineered, built to be used outdoors. Life expectancy. Problem with an indoor TV is that they have multiple vent holes that, when placed outside, will make them vulnerable to dust, insects, and salt corrosion. Sunbright TV's solution to this is that they are completely sealed units intended for Actually, the veranda is a completely sealed unit. There are fans and filters on the Pro Series, but there are, they are definitely still protected against all of the different weather uh, type of scenarios that you're going to run into out there. Uh, the, uh, the Signature and the Pro Series is protected down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. The water test that we do on all of our TVs pours four and a half gallons of water per minute over a three hour span per day over three days. Makes for a total of about 2,700 gallons of water that we pour over those TVs when we do a test on them. Now we know that that is an extreme and that there's no real life situation where they're going to run into that, but it goes to show that we do expect our TVs to work in any type of situation. And I've gotten all kinds of stories from dealers and from customers out there that these TVs have gone through extreme uh, weather situations and are still working at the end of those. So we are completely confident in uh, all of the different types of weather situations that you're going to uh, run into. They are all lab certified for extreme temperature testing. And as I said before, they are all water tested. And the warranty uh, does cover both parts and labor. It is a two-year warranty. On the veranda, it is a one-year warranty that covers parts and labor. So two years on the signature, the pro and the marquee, one year on the veranda. Performance. Um, the problem with most indoor TVs is that they are not designed to handle the glare from ambient outdoor light. Screen contrast is at a different setting for indoor TVs. The Sunbright TV solution to all of this is a built-in anti-glare screen and the OptiView picture quality. And there's the example of what I'm talking about. That's an indoor TV on the left and a Sunbright TV there on the right. And you can clearly see the difference when it comes to the anti-glare properties on a Sunbright TV. And this isn't even in direct facing sunlight. This is just high ambient light where you're getting that glare on there. So you can see that our anti-glare screens do definitely uh, make a difference when it comes to the picture quality. And then lastly is just, oh, there is one other thing with performance that I do like to bring up, as I mentioned before, the storage for a uh, digital media player in there. Okay, and we talked about this before, and I showed you this example here. So another thing that you can bring up to the customer there, especially on the commercial side. And then lastly is peace of mind. Indoor TVs would need to be replaced on a frequent basis. Sunbright TV solution is that they are engineered to be left outside 24 seven with a warranty that provides free tech support and on-site repair. Okay, lastly, I have shown you some installation examples. Uh, if you want more installation examples that you can show your customers, our website is the perfect place to go to. 
sunbrighttv.com. We have a full gallery on there with both residential and commercial installation examples. Just on the front page here, we've got the stadium where the San Diego Padres play. We've got a number of our TVs out there in that stadium, along with a multitude of other commercial stadiums, and they're all there in the gallery that you can take a look at there. Okay, so that's the end of my presentation here. Um, I think we'll go back to Ricky here for a second to see if we have any questions uh, that were received during um, the presentation. All right, Fred, thanks. That was, uh, that was great. Lots of information, lots of good uh, installation tips, techniques. Um, hopefully the, uh, the webinar uh, cleared up any questions about which model to use uh, and which environment type of a location. That's the key for the Sunbright TVs. Um, not many questions, so you must have covered quite a bit of, uh, of, of the information that was needed. Let's see here. We do have we do have uh, one specific, two specific questions here. What is the temperature range on the veranda model, uh, Fred? So the temperature range on the veranda model is still good down to minus 20, but um, good up to a hundred, I believe it's like 107 or 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Now understand that that is not storage temperature, that's operating temperature, okay? If the unit's just being stored, say for example, it's in an area like Phoenix, Arizona or something like that where clearly it can get above that, chances are in most cases, when it's around 110 degrees or something like that, they're probably not going to be out on their patio watching TV in that particular situation. So if it's just being turned off, if it's just being stored, you can go much higher. I think it's up to like 120 degrees Fahrenheit as far as storage is concerned. But operating temperature, it's around 107 degrees in that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to be outside uh, watching TV in that type of range. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, another question just came in. Um, how is the power hookup for the 5 volt? Is it a plug or a USB, Jack? It's a plug. Okay. All right. Yeah, and it is a plug, and we can get you uh, the exact measurements that you would need for either one of those there. But uh, but it is a plug, though, and we've also had uh, custom cables made uh, to power, like the bright sign players, and we can have those done for you as well. And it would be at either at no additional cost or a low cost if if you're doing like say, you know, 100, 200 units, something like that, we can get those made for you at a relatively low cost. Okay. Um, another question here, Fred, what about um, audio? Um, and again, I, I have a little knowledge of this, but I'd like you to, to talk a little bit about the sound bars. I know there's some new sound bars coming out that are specifically designed to work with the Sunbright. So could you could you tell us a little bit more about audio options if we, we decide to uh, utilize uh, the audio out of the TV uh, with, with some of the outdoor environmental type speakers? Yeah, absolutely. So the Veranda series has built-in speakers, and unfortunately, uh, we do not offer a speaker bar that will work with uh, the Veranda. Now, there is, uh, as uh, Ricky mentioned, um, uh, Snap AV has recently introduced an outdoor-rated sound bar that uh, will for lack of a better term, you can install on the veranda. You can screw it into place, but it won't be powered by the veranda. You won't be able to use a, uh, there won't be a, a cable that you can plug into the back of the veranda and power that. So that would have to be done through an alternate source like an AV receiver or something like that. Now on the Signature and the Pro Series, and even the Marquee series too, if you want to uh, have a soundbar on there, you can use either the uh, the new soundbar, the the new uh, episode soundbar that Snap has introduced, and we provide the uh, specific cable that will power that. Uh, sound bar. So there is a brand new sound bar that you can use for that. As far as other sound hookups, like if you want to go with the other full line of episode outdoor speakers, we have the full array of uh, 
of sound hookups that you would need that you would find on the back of any other TV uh, component audio and um, uh, there are headphone jacks back there so there are uh, the traditional you know sound hookups that you will find on any other uh, indoor TV there okay all right. Um, any other questions, guys? Just enter them in that uh, uh, question pane there. If if we don't get to them today, we can uh, follow up. Fred or myself can follow up with an email back to you guys uh, and make sure that your questions get answered. Um, I will go ahead and just wrap this up for today. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes, which is a good good time frame for this webinar. We do want to thank all of you for attending it. Um, we will be sending you an email with a link to this recorded version of the webinar so that if you'd like to review it or share it with some of your, your coworkers, you can do that. Um, as always, if you've got any questions about the Sunbright line, please call our tech support. Uh, go to sunbrighttv.com. Uh, there's a wealth of information there. There's marketing material, um, high-res images for you to use. And then, uh, as always, give us a shout if you've got any specific installation questions that need to be answered. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks a lot, Fred, for your uh, participation today. And guys, uh, again, thank you for uh, attending today's webinar. And as always, happy installing.